watch what you say. Make sure that when there are stressful situations or there is times of conflict, that you're not acting out, that you're not getting irate, that you're not saying things that are hurtful that you know you shouldn't say or that you will take back after you calm down a little bit. Make sure that every moment, every every thing that you, you do, you take a step back. You take a step back and you realize, man, my words matter. I'm the leader of this family, of this, of this nucleus that we have, and I don't want to break that up. I want to always continue to put us in, in, in positive spaces, keep a, a positive energy and, and atmosphere over our home. When you live with that type of mindset and perspective, not only are you going to want to be cognizant of what you say and, and, and be careful of what you say in times of stress or, or anxiety, but in times of fulfillment and happiness and, and, and joyful moments, you want to you wanna feed into that. You want to give your wife compliments. Man, you looking good today. Dang, you look good in that dress. You know, just simple things like that. Or to your kids. You know, just saying I love you, making sure that they know that dad loves their son or their daughter, that dad loves his wife, because your your, your kids are watching too. Even if they're not, ta- if, even if you're not talking to them, they see you talking to your wife. And when they see your dialogue between you two, what are they seeing? Are they seeing arguments, or are they seeing? Happiness? Are they saying fulfillment? Are they saying physical touch? Are they seeing quality time? Are they seeing you speak positive about your wife? Are you? Are they seeing you guys have fun? Are they seeing you guys laugh together? All of these things matter, and definitely, we know kids are sponges; they see it all. So, if you're not talking to them directly and you're talking to your wife, they want to see how you're interacting with them. And that's a, positive, it, it, that's a positive influence for them. So moral of the story here is your words matter if you're talking to them directly or indirectly, even if you're on the phone. How you communicate overall, your ability to find joy in any situation to be able to step back and be able to evaluate and find positive perspective in things, whether good or bad, and, and speaking to those and, and feeding into that and, and sharing and showing positive energy, all of that feeds into the law of attraction, you know? Our words matter. So don't forget that as a man as a husband, as a father. So if you like this content about fatherhood, about being a good man, about being good parents, about bettering relationships and bettering marriages, continue to follow us. Subscribe, like our content, find joy in the journey.